Hello everybody, it's me Nia, and if you read the title then you're right, I am getting a nose job. I don't think I've ever mentioned it, it's something that I have wanted for like ever. When I got older I kind of started getting breathing problems. Well first of all you went to see a doctor. Yeah god this has been going on for years. I went to see a doctor when I was 17. She basically told me that I had a really wonky nose and there was nothing that they could do and I literally left in tears. It took me four years to pluck up the courage to go again. With my dad I was like I can't go by myself. Went to the doctors and I ended up crying again but for good reason because the woman was really lovely. She said she could put me on the waiting list for a year to go to the ENT specialist. I had the option to go private and go basically in a few days. So that's what we did. I went to this doctor and he put a camera up my nose, which was disgusting. I was squeezing my dad's hand like I was giving birth. And he looked at my nose, he told me it was actually pretty straight, but I just had a bit of widening up the top and that they could also fix my breathing issues. Tomorrow I have my consultation, but me and my dad are sat here and we thought we would doctor up some images before we go, like do a bit of nose job homework. So so we have photoshopped people's noses onto my nose. So that's what I kind of want and that's what I have. Oh, stop, it's actually making me hate my nose even more. No, I can't, the fact that that could actually be my nose. That's from the side and then we've got one from the front, which we're just trying to do at the moment. Here's it from the front. But you can see my septum, my nostrils are just slightly wonky. But <laughs> that looks horrendous. We, could, we just can't sort it out. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so lucky because I wasn't really meant to be doing it until June, but they've managed to squeeze me in at the end of September. I'm so excited! <laughs> I will catch you tomorrow when I'm on the way to my consultation. It's the next day, I'm on the way to my consultation. My dad's driving my car for me, bless him. And we're just going up Brass Knocker Hill. Because my consultation is in Bath. I didn't really want to wear any face makeup today because I thought, I don't know if he just needs to see my nose in all its natural glory. It's a nice day though, it's a bit cold. It feels like it's actually autumn now, a little bit. We're here. High quality, affordable healthcare. Wow. I'm really nervous. We're so early because we thought that there was going to be really bad traffic. We've got like almost an hour. Look at all the autumn colours. I'm going to go. My, dad's wait my dad is always waiting for me to get out of the car, right? I've just come out of my consultation, but the computer system was down, so I need to book another appointment. He said that it was doable what I wanted, like the little Photoshop photos, they were helpful. And I had like a huge list of questions, how I'll show you. Big old list of all these questions. Um, and he answered all of them. We've got my surgery booked in for, it's currently the 14th, we've got it booked in for the 27th. That's two weeks yesterday. Right? Feeling all right, we're heading into Bath now, we're gonna look at the Apple store. Need to phone up and book another appointment. It's been a week since I last checked in with you. We went for a roast with Joe, but he's not here now. Thursday the 21st, and I've got my second consultation appointment. My third. Yeah, my third, but my second with the surgeon. We are about an hour early almost. I've got my laptop. Hang on, I'll show you what I've done. A before and after of what I want done, in case he can use them. Hopefully the computers are working here and he also said something about this hospital because i've been to two different hospitals this hospital has a good background to take photos against so maybe he'll take my photos today i'm feeling nervous see you in a bit wish me luck I'm back. We had the second consultation because my surgery is a week yesterday. We saw some of his like post-op before and afters and stuff and they all looked really good. I really like that one girl. You know the one where we were like, that's such a cute nose. Yeah, there was, was so real cute. big transformation. There's not loads to be done with my nose. He says I've got good cartilage, doesn't he? He thinks I've got great cartilage and that I've, I don't have very much nose hair. He said, have you, have you done anything to like remove your nose hair? I was like, no. Like, oh. And then at the end he took us to the theatre area where you hang out before your operation and he talked me through what's going to happen on the day. Now I kind of feel like I have to isolate myself from the world because if I get like a cold or covid or something then it's over for me. And I gave him my photos that I printed out, he appreciated that. And he took some photos of me against the wall. Now I just gotta wait until next week. Why are you not excited? I'll be excited in a week's time. 
a bit exciting in a week's time. I've done a lot of shopping. I really wanted to include a section where I'm preparing for the recovery. It is a painful recovery. They're literally breaking a bone on your face. The surgery I'm getting is mostly for my breathing, but at the same time, they're doing a bit of cosmetic work as well. I didn't even actually know this, but apparently most of my breathing problems come from my septum because it is deviated. I didn't even know I had one, just knew that I couldn't breathe until my surgeon looked at my nose and said, yeah, you've got a deviated septum. I was like, Apparently I have enlarged turbinates. He's gonna reduce the swelling in the surgery and then at the same time, he's going to even out my nose. But here's everything that I've bought. I'll start off with the biggest thing I've bought. It's an upright pillow because I have to sleep upright. I've bought this neck pillow. It's gonna stop my nose from hitting anything at all. I've heard that it's so good to keep tissues by your bed as well. I got these tissues because they say thrive on them. We're gonna thrive in our recovery. And I've also bought these little pocket tissues. People say that you really need cotton buds. You can lightly blow your nose, but it's best to use a cotton bud but you've got to be careful because of the stitches. I've got some microporous tape for three weeks after they do this surgery. It sounds so disgusting but your nose is actually like still malleable. So I'm not actually allowed to wear my glasses because it could leave dents. So I'm gonna tape my glasses to my forehead. I also got some dry shampoo. I'll wash my hair morning of my surgery and you're not actually meant to get your car sweat at all and I don't really want to risk it. I have heard that a good thing to get is a moisturising mouth spray because apparently your mouth gets really dry. I'm literally going to order one on Amazon. Pineapple and spinach are really, really good for reducing swelling. My dad, bless his heart, went out and got some pineapple juice for me yesterday and a big bag of spinach and I've made these little green popsicles. I am actually quite terrified about this surgery. I'm trying to keep my calm, trying to get excited. About 1.30, 2.30 is my surgery. So this time tomorrow, 24 hours from now, I will literally be being put to sleep. Good morning. It's the morning of my surgery. I can't believe it. I feel a little bit scared. I went for breakfast. I don't think I filmed any of it because, to be honest, my head is all over the place this morning. We went to Starbucks. I got a ham and cheese croissant and a pumpkin spice latte. I had to stop eating after half seven. But I can have stuff like water, tea... I'm going to make myself a cup of tea because we all know if you're stressed and anxious, if you have a cup of tea, you'll be fine. I've had a little self-care shower because I can't get my car sweat, so I can't shower. And I thought I would do a little face mask to make myself feel a bit more pampered, a bit more normal. And now we're going to give my guinea pigs a bath. I've got an hour before I have to leave. Here's Meatball. She's ready for her bath. Aren't you, Meatball? Ready? Hang on, is it warm enough? Yeah. You can't even see how cute she's looking right now. Hello, Meatball. I'm on the way. I'm so scared. It's okay. Everything will be okay. Fit check. Good skin there and just sew it on. I can hear my surgeon. This is how I'm looking right now. I've got grippy, grippy socks on. This is my room. This is where I'm going to be recovering as well after the operation. So she's going to make herself at home. Room tour. Here's my dad. I've got my chair. I've got my bed. I've got my lovely outfit. What are they like knee sock kind of things? I've got the grippy socks. This is so uncomfortable. My toes keep popping out of that. I would love to eat right now. But I mean, I guess that's good because you're not meant to eat for like six hours before. I would love a drink right now. My surgeon just came in and he was just doing like a little check. I had to sign a consent for my nose to be chopped. And I just went through any last minute things. Apparently the surgery is going to take place in like 30 to 60 minutes. He said it will only last about two hours. My surgery is going to be before two and it's 10 to 2. So this is the last check in and I'll see you when I've had my surgery. I did it. I'm eating a sandwich. Apparently my surgeon says he has given me my dream nose. And I'm so happy. But I was so tired. But my nurse is like my favourite person. You can eat your sandwich. Reese message as well. Did he? What did he say? It said nice of you to stay awake. <laughs> stay awake? Stay in wait. Oh, it was nice of you. My dad has stayed here for like four, my surgery took four hours and my dad stayed and waited the whole time. Well, and obviously. apparently he was like asking me about Venice because I went on holiday to Venice. Check out my Venice. Also they've like cut a bit of my skin to like put in my nose. But apparently the surgeon came up to my dad and he says that he managed to get my dream nose. So He's put tubes up there. Yeah, I've got tubes up my nose as well. And what's in my sandwich? I've got ham. And tomatoes. 7 Eleven, they're gonna just charge us soon because I'm doing so good. I had a wee. Because this wall is shut now. <laughs> oh, yeah, this wall is shut. Hey, they taped my necklace. Oh, how good. Should I untape it? Mm. Hello, this is not blood, this is chocolate ice cream. Just put that out there. I've got loads of stuff on my bedside table. Got all my pain medication up there. I'm in my little cushion setup. Feeling great. I'm not feeling great. 
I'm feeling pretty bad. Look how cute my guinea pig is. Hello, features. This is the second day. I've slept for like 12 hours and I feel a lot better. I'm eating my breakfast. This is what I've got. An omelette and a profi, which is like a protein coffee. I've gone back upstairs now. I've got my little anti-sickness. I slept for like 12 hours. I'm still so tired. It is Saturday and I've sat in the Asda car park right now. My dad and Joe are just doing some shopping and I wanted to leave the house. Hello, I just kind of regret it a little bit now. I think that's them there. Yeah, there they are. It's day four after my surgery. I'm so much less puffy. I really honestly don't think I got that bad bruising at all. I think I've been really, really lucky. My boyfriend Joe came to stay with me for a few days after my operation because the first three days have honestly been so bad. I've hardly filmed anything. I've just been like, <laughs> Joe had to go back today because he's got uni tomorrow. I haven't taken this gauze off yet. I really probably should. I don't know if it's the same in America, but in England, the packing in our nose is actually dissolvable. And that means like my nose is like literally just dripping constantly. Look at the bruises on my hands. Is someone still bruised? Yeah. One thing I want to talk about though is no one warned me how ill I would feel. I got so sick when I came home and then I walked back upstairs and I was sick again. When they said they were going to give me anti-sickness, I was like, oh, I'm sure I'll be fine then. I was so not fine. I just come out here to see my little guinea pigs. They're so cute. They're looking after me, keeping me company. One thing I have had to do is fight the need to sneeze. I got given a letter from my nurse and she said on it that if you feel like you need to sneeze then you gotta put your tongue to the roof of your mouth and then just suck. It's time for my soup. I heat that up for a bit. Every single time I've had soup I've got it all over my gauze so this is gonna be the first time. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. One of the things that's been happening every single night, 3 a.m. This time it's 5 because I went to bed like two hours later. I just wake up from pain. I will see you in the actual morning. Good evening. I'm about to go to bed. I've literally done nothing all day. I just wanted to tell you I almost did my first ever sneeze. Oh my god, it's coming again. Uh, I have taken off the gauze of my nose. Also, I have these horrible blue splints in my nose to keep everything straight. I think I'll do a video about my experience. I could do like a little Q&A if anyone's interested. I'm so tired, so I'm gonna sleep. I'm here with my little peaches. Hello, peaches. I'm watching the morning show on Apple TV. It's really good, I'm enjoying it. I just want this cast off at this point. Like a week ago, I was sat here literally thinking, I never want to get this cast off, I'm in so much pain. I've watched so many people's nose job videos today of them getting their cast off. I'm like, right, it's time. We want to get it off, don't we, peaches? I don't think she knows who I am anymore. One thing I haven't heard people talk about is like the pain you feel in your teeth. Kind of like that pain where if you get hit in the nose and then you feel it in your teeth. I've been drinking a lot of pineapple juice. It's meant to be good at getting rid of bruising. I've got a tiny bit left on the eye, but other than that, I don't really think I actually have much bruising. Good morning! I actually can't deal with this blue tube up my nose. There's loads of like super glue in my hair. And I was had to get a bit of my head shaved, which is so fun. I've just enjoyed my last day of recovery. And these blue plastic tubes up my nose, I cannot wait to get this all off. It's my last night with the cast. I put the gauze back on. I'm so excited. Tomorrow is the day I'm getting my cast off. I can't wait. I'm so happy. Last look at the cast. Cover that back up. Oh, you can see my dad in the background. He's just filling up my car with petrol. And we're on the way to my cast removal. How much was that? <gasps> £51. So, dad. We're properly on the way now. This is going to be the last time you see this cast. Oh, he's just overtaken it on a non overtaking area. Drama. My appointment's in nine minutes, and we're about nine minutes away. I know that that's like on time, whatever, but. I feel like for this kind of stuff you've got to be early. Oh my god, I got to sign in as well, don't I? I got to check in. We had to get petrol. Okay, my car was really low. We didn't realise. Hopefully, we'll make it in time. 
I've got my cast off. I'm gonna warn you, it is very swollen. Like, it actually looks bigger than when I um, <laughs> got the nose job. It's gonna settle down and it's gonna basically look the same from the front. Are you ready for the nose reveal? Three, two, one. <laughs> it's so big from the front. Look, it actually like slopes now. And then this side. My breathing, I can actually feel it up here. I could only breathe like to here before. My favourite bit though, you know the photos that I mocked up before my surgery, like with my consultations and stuff. Look, we've done this with it. This is the photo of me before and like this is what I wanted done and this is what I've got now. That is basically the same nose. I actually bought some Arnica tablets today because apparently they're meant to be good for reducing swelling. This area feels really tight and like quite numb in some areas. And he says that once the swelling's gone down that I'll be able to have more motion of my mouth again. Oh, the worst thing. Oh my God. Those splints that were in my nose, that was the most excruciating process ever obviously you would have seen those blue things hanging out of my nose i thought they were just thin straight things they were not this is what it looked like and it was big as well it was like this big it genuinely was huge and it was up my nose i don't understand how did that fit up my nose how did he get it out of my nose oh it was so painful basically he had to like cut this i still got some stitches here that would just like fall out by themselves i've got some incisions here and here as well it feels very very tender Look. <laughs> it's so cute i could cry like i have a little slope stop i'm gonna cry don't cry but i think i've made a pretty good recovery apart from my honking great big swollen nose apparently i did get like a massive nosebleed afterwards <laughs> apparently my surgeon was like playing it down to like try not to stress me out but my dad saw it and there was like quite a lot of blood coming out he was just like holding a tissue look how much of my nose he like actually shaved off though that is where my old nose was how is this surgeon shaved off all that i don't get it I've been chatting for 10 minutes now. Anyway, see you in a few days. It's about two and a half weeks since I filmed that last clip. And as you can see, the swelling in my nose has gone down a crazy amount. Since the swelling's gone down, I've kind of developed a bit of a hump in my nose again. And I don't know if that's going to stay there or if that's just more swelling. But the overall nose does look so much better can you see i can't really tell i don't think i really could have asked for a lot more as far as the breathing goes my nose has kind of been a bit too stuffy i mean it is a lot better and every now and then i will blow my nose and it's like mind-blowing i can breathe so much better everything is still so swollen in about three weeks i have an appointment to check over everything i can ask any questions i can ask about the hump i think it just looks very natural like it really doesn't look like i had a nose job i don't think you would look at me and think oh she's definitely had work done to her nose. I have, but it doesn't look like it, I don't think. I have one stitch left here, unless that's come out. Oh, I think it actually fell out, but I definitely had it yesterday. It's a huge waiting process. It's all just gonna take time, but I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.